Hello. I think I'm live. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that everything's good to go. Oh, ha. Okay. Going live on Facebook. The intro will start in just one moment. Thank you for your patience. Come on, Facebook. I'm going live on both Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. And here we are. Hi, everyone. It's Whitney, and welcome to the weekly live streams that happen every Friday around 5 p.m. Pacific time. A li little late today because I decided to do a simultaneous live stream on Facebook as well as YouTube because, to be completely honest, I am quite exhausted today, and it definitely crossed my mind that I wasn't going to do a live stream at all, but I am very committed to being here for all of you. I love doing these live streams and I wanted to make this happen. So whether you're watching the live stream or the recording, thank you so much for being here. And I see that Thomas here and Christy, so they're asking about uh, birthdays. It's not my birthday. <laughs> I am going to talk today about this party that I threw for my best friend, Jason Robel. Any of you watching live or the recording, I'd love to know, have you seen the footage on Instagram? That's where the great majority is of people talking about this party that happened last night. And I'm talking about it because I hosted this and organized this party. And thus I am exhausted beyond measure. So I spent the past two weeks putting together a really special surprise party. Jason turned 40 yesterday on July 6th, and he's such a good friend of mine that I wanted to do something really, really special for him. I threw a birthday party for him a few years ago when we were dating. So Jason and I used to, to date, and now we're just really good friends. People always want that clarified, and uh, that was amazing. I think that was the first time, maybe not the first time I threw a surprise party, but I had the greatest time putting that party together and it lived in my heart for so long, just how wonderful it turned out. Well, I guess this year I decided to outdo myself and I ended up putting together a party of proportions I could have never imagined. It started off with a pretty simple idea and grew into something really large. And today I want to share this with you because it's part of my life and Jason's life, who you may also enjoy watching. But uh, I also want to tell you about some of the amazing things that happened during this party, including one of the best gift bags I think uh, I've ever experienced. And it's kind of weird to say that because I basically put this gift bag together but uh, the brands that were involved with this party are really part of the reason why I wanted to do this video because this blew my mind. So I'm going to do a little haul, I guess, of the products that are in here. This gift bag had $100 worth of products in it. And you know what I'm going to do? I, I literally just decided to do this. I'm going to do a giveaway of one of these bags because we have some extras. So because I'm literally just thinking of this as I'm saying it on both Facebook and YouTube Live. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure it. So, hmm. My brain is working a little slow today because I'm so exhausted from everything. So I apologize if I'm not making a ton of sense yet, but I'm going to give a, do a giveaway of some sort. I just don't know if I'm going to do it live during, like right now. Or if I'm going to like put up an official giveaway and have you guys enter. So bear with me. I'm going to think about that while I'm doing this video. So why don't we start with this gift bag so I can show you. So what I did is I contacted brands that Jason loves. He, If you don't know about Jason, he is an incredible vegan chef. And he loves brands. We're very similar. The part of the reason why we dated and the, now that we're really great friends is because we love a lot of the same things. And one, one thing that we both really love is vegan products. And we get very excited to try all sorts of different things. You know that I love that. If you watch any of my videos, I'm always doing these hauls and all that stuff. Um, and so I wanted to put together gift bags for all of the guests. So this is an intimate surprise party. There were, I don't know, 30 or 40 people there. 
little over 60 had RSVP'd and uh, they missed out on the goodie bags, those people that didn't show up, which is part of the reason I'm giving them one away to you guys. But um, anyways, I wanted the guest to have just as good of a time as the, the guest of honor, Jason. So I put together these goodie bags by reaching out to these brands and I am blown away what these brands give. So I'm gonna share with you what's in the bag and then I will link on both YouTube and Facebook all of the products so that you guys can check them out if you don't happen to be the lucky winner. But first, let me pause just to say thank you to Valerie for being here and Patrick and Steve, as well as uh, Francie, Avocado and Soul. I saw your, your Instagram message. Thanks for sending that. One wish. Yes, Jason's channel. I will link to on both Facebook and YouTube. It's Jason Robel. Uh, I think it's Jason Robel TV on YouTube, but he's really easy to look up. And I love Francie says she, she's still good friends with her ex-husband. That is a rare thing. People are blown away that Jason and I are such good friends. And let me tell you guys a little like personal side of this is that Jason is really good friends with three of his most recent partners, girlfriends, whatever you want to call us. So, and I'm friends with them too. So Jason has uh, his girlfriend before me, his name is Ellie, and his girlfriend after me is named Nicole. And all three of these girls, including myself, are friends. And all of us are friends with Jason. <laughs> and people are like, how is that possible? That's so weird and straight, like weird as in like rare. And I'm like, you know, we, we're all very similar people and we love each other. So you know, not like we're in like a relationship together. We're all just great friends and we all live in Los Angeles. We're all vegans. Like, I don't know. It is a little strange, but that's a little side note. Okay. So you guys want to see what's in this bag and what you may win when I do this giveaway. Okay. So first of all, I have to give huge props to Sun Warrior, who was like the most on the ball sponsor of everybody. Look at these bags. So the first part of these gift bags is just this amazing tote bag. Sun Warrior makes a lot of basically supplements. Mainly they're known for their protein powders. And those are in here, which you'll see in a moment. But I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna try to go in order because there's some products that I like. Well, is that mean if I try to go in order and then like some brands feel like I'm, I don't care as much about them? I'm not gonna do that. But there are some products in here that I'm like, freaking out about. Okay, so first Sun Warrior gave their blender bottles, which are super helpful. I like having these around because they're just great to blend drinks. So when I'm doing like a protein powder or a smoothie and water, um, we're not a smoothie, but like uh, I love Organifi green juice. I'll link to them. They're not actually, <laughs> I just realized that I meant to put Organifi in these bags and I'm literally realizing right now that I forgot. If you win one of these bags, there will be some Organifi in it. It's one of my favorite companies and they make green drink powder. You probably, you might've seen a video that I did about this. Amazing stuff. So if I'm making a protein shake, if I'm doing Organifi, putting them in a blender bottle, um, I don't wanna, okay, I'll gently open this up if you guys have never seen these before. I feel like most of you know what a blender bottle is, but just in case you don't, or you don't have one, what makes these, handy is that they have these little like stainless steel mixers in them. And so when you put them in the bottle with some water and whatever powder you're using and shake it up, it mixes it for you. Now I'm not the biggest fan of plastic. At least these are BPA free, but that's the one drawback to me about blender bottles. I just don't know if these would work well with glass or they could probably work well with stainless steel, but most blender bottles are made with plastic for some reason. So that was from Sun Warrior. Then Sun Warrior gave a few things, but some of them are they're at the bottom. So the, you, stay tuned for more Sun Warrior. Next was these organic snacks from Lundberg. Lundberg makes some of my favorite rice products. They make rice, like they can just buy bagged rice, like all different types. They have rice cakes that my favorite rice cakes of all time are from Lundberg. They also make chocolate coated rice cakes and some of them are vegan. And then they have great chips and these are new or newish. They're red rice and quinoa chips, all organic, gluten-free, whole grain. And this is their cinnamon sugar. They use brown rice flour, um, a little bit of oil, cane sugar, quinoa, cinnamon, salt. It's basically the ingredients. I, don't, I haven't tried these yet. So they look really good though. Next up is this sweet brand, which I have to say their packaging is amazing. I met them 
like a year and a half ago, I think for the first time at the Natural Products Expo. And they have these, this granola, this is called Lark Ellen Farms. They're based in Ojai, California, which is a beautiful part of the state, just a little north of Los Angeles. And they make this delicious paleo, gluten-free, vegan, grain-free trail mix and uh, granolas. This is their trail mix here, but I just can't get over how pretty their packaging is. This tastes so good and it's just like made with so much love. All right. I need a drum roll for this next product. Actually, I'm going to pause to build up the momentum and read some of the comments here. So uh, let's see. I love that, Zach. It's has Life has only just begun. Thank you. That's awesome. Perry said, we were able to see Jason right before he got ready for the party. That's awesome, Perry. I'm glad you're able to do that. And uh, CJ said, gift bags to current viewers. You know, if I could, I could send you all gift bags, I would, but... Uh, I'm probably going to have to pay out of pocket to ship to the, the winner. So probably just going to be able to send to one of you. And some of these bags have to go to other people. But uh, in, in my dream scenario, I would send each and every one of you bags. And maybe one day we'll make that happen. Um, and uh, Valerie, yes, thank you for your sweet words. Uh, Vegan Goonie says, you're a great friend. Thank you. Natalie said, finally getting to see one of these live. Thank you for being here live. That's awesome. And <laughs> Francie, you're hilarious. Debbie's here. Debbie, I did receive your message and I will get back to you because I would love to have you at that event. Um, and I won't be at Long Beach Veg Fest, I don't think. Okay. So with no further ado, drum roll, please. This is one of my favorite brands that I feel like not a lot of people know about. Green Mustache. This is a super small company. I think I found them at 2015 at the Natural Products Expo. They make these amazing gluten-free vegan crackers that are basically like gluten-free vegan goldfish crackers. So their original flavor, these vegan cheddar crackers, are shaped in, in the shape of a mustache, which is super cute, instead of a goldfish, but they taste almost, almost exactly like goldfish. So you, how many of you had like goldfish crackers or maybe you still eat them? They're super loaded with junk, very processed. These are amazing because they have tons of protein in them from garbanzo beans. Uh, they're in green, they have kale in them, pea protein. Let's see, all different flavors like, uh, uh, nutritional yeast and onion powder, rosemary. So there's a few different flavors. There's the cheddar flavor, a spicy flavor, and a Parmesan rosemary, all vegan, all gluten-free. Love their packaging. They taste so good. They're organic. And how sweet. They, they tied them together in a little bow, which I just think was like the cutest thing. So I love these. As soon as they arrived in the mail, I opened up my bag and started eating them way before the party. Okay, so some products from Sun Warrior. They sent their Illuminate organic plant-based meal. So it's a, actually, I might even have this right now because I need to eat something. And so one of the reasons I like products like this, I don't, I don't use protein powder a ton, but sometimes if I'm having a busy day or I'm not super hungry, I just want to get some nutrients and fill up. I like using protein powder for that. So this is positioned as a meal from, I guess, the nutrients, nutrition element of it. It's got a lot in it. And Sun Warrior, I think, is one of the best tasting and the, the highest quality ingredients in terms of protein powders out there. It's organic, soy-free, no sugar added, gluten-free, non-GMO, dairy-free, and vegan, of course. And um, I don't know if this one is raw, but some of their products are raw. Then we have this. So this is another go-to that I don't take a ton, but Jason and I discovered this brand together at a store once many years ago. This is Organic Mushroom Nutrition, otherwise known as OM, and they make these super high quality natural energy drinks. And I feel like energy drinks kind of get a bad rap for, you know, just bad ingredients, but this is so effective and their ingredients are phenomenal. So this is intelligent sustained energy with cordyceps and reishi mushrooms for immune support. It has vitamins and botanicals in it. It's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, fermented. It tastes kind of like 
an orange soda or if you ever had tang, like that type of orangey flavor. And uh, let's see, it's good for energy, focus and alertness, immune support, as I said, great for pre-workout and recovery, which is very true. It won't give you a crash or jitters. It's just natural positive energy. I love that they say positive energy. And uh, it's mainly like all these great mushrooms, yerba mate, uh, guarana, guarana, turmeric root, and it's got some stevia in it for a sweeten sweetener, but it's like, that's it. There's B12 in here for energy, B6, vitamin C. So this is like pretty amazing. And they were so generous. They gave 10 of these packets, full-size packets. I'm just blown away. And again, I'm going to link to all these products. So if you want to check them out, I will put it in the description field so you guys can, can get it yourself if you would like. Okay, so two more things. Or no, there's actually one more thing from... Sun Warrior after this, but they sent the classic protein and vanilla and chocolate flavor, the sprouted and fermented. And I think these might be the raw versions of it. Yes, raw whole grain brown rice protein, vanilla extract stevia. Well, it has xanthan gum and sea salt in it. So I guess raw is a little bit relative. It's not like in the true sense where you're like having raw fruits and vegetables. But again, that's like all that's in there. This is the super short ingredient list, whereas the Illuminate has a longer, much longer ingredient list. There's a lot more in here. Then we'll I'll show you the other thing that Sun Warrior sent, which is the Soul Good Bars. Uh, these are delicious protein bars and pretty new. So a lot of people don't even know that these exist yet. And I think these are tasty. They grew on me over time. At first, I was like, yeah, these are pretty good, to be completely honest. But uh, over time, I kind of got hooked on these. They have a few different flavors, but my favorite is the Blueberry Blast. And it has tons of fiber in it. It's all organic, lots of protein. It's soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, in line with all of that. And uh, it just tastes really, really good. This is another thing I might have. I think I'm going to like rely on Sun Warrior for the next few hours until I have dinner. I'm going out to a really cool place for dinner. So you may want to tune into my Instagram stories tonight. I'm just saying. All right. Let me check out some of the comments before I continue down. Susan Robel is here. That is amazing. And Barbara Giesel. These are two amazing mothers that I know. And Susan is Jason's mom. So if you're still here, Susan, how perfect that you're here while I'm talking about Jason's party. Susan is like one of the most incredible mothers I've ever met. And um, Mario is here from Costa Rica. Jennifer says, I ordered the crackers, uh, the green mustache crackers on Amazon. And she said, they're addicting. I'm so glad that you tried them out. Seriously, you guys, like these are very special and, and they're hard to find in store. I don't even know if they're in stores, but they're definitely on Amazon as Jennifer said. Liz says, you're vegans. Love your videos and so excited that you're doing live videos. Oh, she's from Massachusetts. That's where I'm from. Thanks for being here. And um, wow, just so many people here. So Adrian, just to clarify, I'm talking about Jason Robel's surprise birthday party that I planned. And I'm sharing the goodie bag that incredible brands put together to celebrate Jason. And I'm, I mean, can you believe this? There's literally a hundred dollars worth of products in here. And if you're just tuning in, I am going to do a giveaway. Okay. Another company I absolutely love. And, and actually one of the guys from the company came to the party brush with bamboo. You guys may have seen me talk about them before. I've done a ton of videos. We partner together. We're working on another project together right now. I've even been in like a commercial that they did. They make my favorite toothbrushes. These are the only toothbrushes I've used for years. And they're plant-based, all compostable. So their bristles, the handle, the wrapper, and the box are compostable. This is like, to my knowledge, the most eco-friendly toothbrush that exists. And one of the sweetest companies, also based in California. They're amazing people. And a really nice compliment to that is another one of my favorite companies, and they're called Well Scent. I've also done a, a few videos with them. They make my favorite essential oils, and I've been using them for years. And they have this product called Watch Your Mouth, which is dental formula. And if I remember properly, you can use this in, oh yeah, it says right here on the bottle. You can use this in place of toothpaste. So you take two drops of this essential oil formulation on a toothbrush, such as brush with bamboo, and 
you brush your teeth with it instead of using toothpaste. And I use this for a long time. I like to alternate through my tooth, my oral hygiene products, because I like to try a lot of things out. But this is going back in rotation and highly recommend it. It's on the pricey side, but their formulations are outstanding. And I think I have, might have a discount code for you guys. If I do, I'll put it in the link. All right. Can you believe that I'm not even done yet? Omica Stevia. I'm telling you, not only are these my, some of Jason's favorite brands, but they're like almost all my favorite brands too. This is my favorite brand, the Stevia or Stevia. And uh, this is organic liquid Stevia. They have a whole line of these different flavors. So they have just plain Stevia. Then they have this peppermint. They have a lemon flavor. They have a sweet blossom flavor that's incredible. And then they have, I think, like hazelnut and all these others. So you can, they're great for drinks. And um, I just thought this was amazing. I just love the taste of this. I've actually been using their powdered stevia for a while, and it's fantastic. That is my go-to sweetener for most things. All right, what else do we have in here? Chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Another great company is Alter Eco, which makes a variety of different products, and they are known for their chocolates, I feel like. I think, what else do they have? I feel like they have um, like rices. I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank because when I think of Alter Eco, I think chocolate and they have great vegan chocolate. They're not entirely vegan chocolate lines. So just make sure you double check. But for the bag, they sent their dark salted almonds and their super blackout 90% chocolate bar. This will be good for like if you're making something with chocolate, not just eating it plain out of, out of the packaging unless you don't mind super dark chocolate, but this would be good to melt onto something like you could melt it and dip like strawberries in this, or you could, it'd probably be pretty good in like s'mores with vegan marshmallows. So love them. And what's cool about Alter Eco is that they're organic and fair trade and non-GMO, which is super important. Fair trade is a very important thing to look for when you're buying chocolate because there's a lot of slave labor that happens in the chocolate industry. If you look this up, it's heartbreaking how some chocolate is made. And um, they said they're committed food activists that travel far and wide to bring you the world's most exotic and delicious sustainable foods. And they tell you on their website about their sustainability initiatives, fair trade initiatives, all of that. Um, so they're just incredible. And to wrap things up, I think I have three more things in here to share with you. Great brand is called Living Libations. They make all sorts of amazing, supernatural, effective, beautiful products. And they sent over their shampoo and they just go on their website. They have oral care products. They have all types of amazing body pro care products. Again, I will link to them as well so you guys can check them out. But lovely, lovely company. My current favorite deodorant, and this has been my favorite for years, is Schmitz. I feel like my video just got a little weird. Let me just make sure everything's running smoothly, you guys. Turn off one of my programs and check in on your comments too. So Vegan Goonie says, enjoy an Eco Vegan Pal. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you're in there. Uh, I'll pause for a second. Eco Vegan Pal is my membership community, and it is something I just launched. And I just for anybody that is currently in there as a member, because I've been planning Jason's party, I've barely done any other work. So if I've seemed like quiet anywhere, it's probably because this party has been so much work for me. But I'm back. I can't wait to dive back into Eco Vegan Pal. And Eco Vegan Pal is a platform private community of people from all over the world that come together to support one another, to ask questions, to meet each other, to really just be connected. Sometimes it can feel really lonely and people feel like they don't have friends or the right friends or people that understand them. They want to meet new people. That's what Eco Vegan Pal is. And you guys can go to ecoveganpal.com if you want to check it out and be part of it and feel free to ask any questions. Um, okay, good. I'm glad that the video looks smooth for you, Graham. Thanks for the feedback. Okay, so back to Schmidt's deodorant. They sent samples of their amazing vegan all-natural deodorant. I did a video on them, I think. It was I definitely did one on Instagram. I can't remember if I did one on Facebook or YouTube, but 
semi recently talking about these. You know, for me, the, there's a lot of packaging involved, the plastic. However, a little bit goes a long way, and the quality of the ingredients is so great. So um, I kind of wish they used less packaging, to be honest, but their formulations are outstanding. <laughs> if you saw any of my videos a few months ago, I was talking about their jasmine scent and their rose and vanilla scent. They smell so good, no lie. When I'm wearing it, I feel like I'm wearing perfume and I'm always tempted to like smell my armpits, <laughs> as weird as that might sound, because like it's my armpits smell amazing. <laughs> so it's like I put on this deodorant every day and I'm like, so happy, you know, it's the essential oils, like just bringing me to life. So they're all uh, cruelty free and gluten free. And uh, they have all these formulations. This one in this bag is their tea tree sensitive skin formulation. All right. Last but not least, I think, let me double check, is Eco Sebi, which is truly an eco vegan company. Another brand that I've been in love with for years. And I think I actually introduced them to Jason. And Jason now is hooked on them. He has more products from them than I do. They sent some of their vegan lip balm, which is made from castor oil, castor wax, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, caranuba cara wax, and sea buckthorn berry oil. I knew there was going to be an interesting ingredient in there because everything that Eco Sevi makes is so is done with so much love and care and attention to detail. And it's, they're amazing. You have to check them out. I love their shampoo. I use their dry shampoo every week in between when I wash my hair and uh, what else of theirs do I, I mean, they have really great hand solve. So it's like um, super concentrated moisturizer. That's great for cracked skin. They actually have products for animals that I use on Evie. I use their conditioner, their shampoo for her. They have like sprays to make dogs smell good. I mean, when you go to the Eco Sevy website, you guys, you'll be blown away by how many products they make. It's unbelievable. And they're based in Baltimore and it's a female run company. A lot of these brands are actually run by women now that I'm thinking about it, which is very cool. So it's good to support them. So, you know, I just wanted to bring you into this little behind the scenes of this party. So that's that's the bag portion of it. The next thing that was really cool about this party was that companies donated food. And so I wanna give a shout out to them. If you guys like, please let me know in a comment if you're watching live. If you comment and say yes, after I ask you this next question, if I receive at least five yeses from you, I'm gonna screen share some of the footage from last night that I pulled from Instagram. So I've been saving all of this footage from the party and if you didn't have a chance to watch on Instagram or maybe you don't even use Instagram and you wanna see some behind the scenes footage, type yes on your screen right now and while I'm waiting for you, I'm gonna read some comments. Perry says she loves Schmitz too. Uh, Graham says Schmitz for your pits, I love that. And wow, so much engagement on, on YouTube. Thank you guys for being so talkative today. M Mario asks, is that a bamboo brush? Do you know how long you have to wait till you change the bamboo toothbrush? It's This bamboo toothbrush will last just as long as any other toothbrush. So I don't even pay attention sometimes. I'm sure I've used it for a little too long, but I think you're supposed to change out your toothbrushes, what, like every six months or so, maybe three months? It depends, if you keep them clean, if you, wash them after you brush your teeth and then put them away somewhere where they're um, not going to grow bacteria. I think that six months is probably a good length, but I'm not a dentist. So you might have to check with them. The, they're just awesome. So they're just like regular toothbrushes, except they're all compostable. And um, Francie said, I love the Alter Eco Quinoa. So yes, Alter Eco makes chocolate quinoa uh, bars. And they're similar to like rice, rice, what are they called? Like crunchy bars where they would have like the crisp rice inside. So Alter Ego basically has that, but with uh, quinoa and it's really delicious. And it's like dried quinoa. So let's see what else. And Musty, uh, sorry, I just saw your comment. The, the topic today is the surprise party I did for Jason Robel yesterday. And I'm sharing everything that's in the bags, the gift bags I gave and whatever else details. I did receive a ton of yeses. Jason's here watching you guys. You can give him a belated Happy birthday. He's still celebrating. He's technically having like a happy birthday month. So if anyone wants to say happy birthday, he's watching on YouTube right now and his mom is watching on Facebook. Isn't that amazing? I have two Robels 
on two different live streams at the exact same time. This is amazing. Okay, so that means you guys want to see the behind the scenes footage. So let me pull up some of it. I'm going to share with you guys some of the incredible coverage that this event got last night on Instagram stories. So like I said earlier, we had probably 40, maybe 50 people there at the party. And a lot of them are social media content creators, a lot of people that you know. So we had M M uh, Michelle and Matt from Thug Kitchen who did an incredible job, by the way. They helped set up the event. They brought all these things. We had my friend Allison from the Food Heals podcast, which is who, Allison's one of my favorite people in the whole world. She helped me with all these details. Nicole Dershway, who's an incredible vegan chef and dear friend of Jason's and in the ex-girlfriend club, as we like to say. My friend Ellie from Ellie Keats Jewelry. She makes incredible jewelry in town. Who else was there? Oh, Yvonne from Yvonne's Vegan Kitchen. She makes, she's also a great vegan I would say maybe chef slash baker. She makes both and her cheese. She makes some of the best vegan cheese I've ever had. I'm going to link to all everything that I talk about in these videos will be linked for all of you guys to follow these people, these brands, check them out. You'll, you'll, I'll create like a master list because there's a lot of people involved with this. Who else was there? Uh, Tess Masters from the Blender Girl. You're going to see some of her videos. Robbie Barbero from Mindful Diabetic. He created some great videos. So let me pull this up so I can show you a little bit of the behind the scenes, which you may not have seen. Ko Koya Webb, who's a wonderful yogi online. Uh, Jackie from Beat by Beat. Our friend Nathaniel. I mean, there's. I literally have like 70 video clips. So now I'm like, how am I going to find this and show this too well? Okay, let me see here. I didn't prepare this part, you guys, so I'm going to, it's going to take me a minute to pull up some of the great footage. Or maybe I'll make this. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to need your help too to help me um, confirm that everything's playing on the screen properly see. Okay, I'm gonna have to open it up on quick time. <laughs> Hold that thought. It's coming up in just a moment. It's unbelievable, like how much footage I have. I'm just like starting to go through all of this. Okay. I'm gonna pull up the content that Tess Masters did because she went to town and captured like every moment. So let's select to select like 15 clips for or 20. Let's make it 20. They're all super short. And uh, open this up. And I'm going to read some comments while I'm waiting for my computer to open up all of this. So let's see here. Uh, just so you know, Jason on Facebook, Valerie are saying hi. Your mom's saying hi. Perry's saying hi. Um, and yes, the dog behind the pillow. Jason, um, that's my my dog Evie back there. And look at all the happy birthdays to people watching live on YouTube. You guys are so amazing. Okay, let's see. My computer opened up like all these, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this right now. Hold on. This, this turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm, I'm gonna show you just have to set this up. Okay. Let's start with this one. No. Technical difficulties. Every time I do one of these live streams, I'm like, I need it. I want to team a crew of people to help me cue things up like a television studio. So I have everything running properly. Okay, here we go. So the, can everyone see this? Let me know on Facebook and YouTube if you can see the footage on there. It should be a split screen right now. Okay, cool. I can. I just saw. I confirmed it myself. It's it's going to be a little on the small side, but let's see if I shrink my shrink my window down. Now you guys should be able to see this. Perfect. Okay. So what's happening here is. We surprised Jason. So if you didn't hear that part yet, it was a complete surprise party. Jason had no idea what was going on. We were in this beautiful place called Denver.
in meditation, which is one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. And Jason walked in thinking that he was going to a meditation class, but it turned out that it wasn't that. And so when he walked in, all of his friends were there and we turned around and started singing him happy birthday. And I don't know, tell me if you guys can hear the sound. You don't really need to hear sound, but it might not come through on this broadcast, but this is right after the surprise happened. That's me there on the left-hand side. Jason's in the middle, completely overwhelmed. And I think this video was shot by test masters, but uh, it looks like a small group of people. But as I said, there are at least 30 people there at this point. Can you hear the audio at all? Okay, so I'm gonna close that and open up the next clip. So then we had all these incredible sponsors. So we had drinks from Har Harmless Harvest Coconut Water, Temple Turmeric, Cave Shake, and Suja. And I just want to take a moment to show you guys. So Suja makes some of my favorite organic juices. They also have these new like probiotic beverages. I tried them once. I didn't have a chance to try them last night, but they're really lovely. And then Temple Turmeric makes turmeric drink, turmeric drinks. Turmeric is great for, for inflammation. So these were absolutely lovely. They make these little like energy shots. And then... Let's see, kind of mixed in here. You can kind of see Cave Shake. Let's see if there's a better shot of it. There it is. Cave Shake is so amazing. If you're in Los Angeles, I insist that you guys go try this. I, th I don't know where else they distribute, but I'll link to them so you can check it out. They make these paleo vegan drinks that are basically like the equivalent of a Wendy's Frosty, but much healthier and simpler ingredients. I think it's just like coconut stevia and flavor like there's probably like five ingredients in these things they're amazing they taste just like this incredible shake and uh like they, they remind me a little bit of the wendy's frosties and then harmless harvest harmless harvest makes some of my favorite coconut water and you've probably seen them around i wish this was a little bit easier to share my screen with you guys but Thanks for your patience. So this is, we had mac and cheese from Veggie Grill. They sent this huge tray of mac and cheese. So if you have any of you ever been to a Veggie Grill before, do you have one nearby? It is so wonderful. And um, Francie, I just saw your comment, by the way. We did a little meditation. There's some footage of that too that I'll show you in a little while. But um, so Veggie Grill anyways makes all sorts. It's like basically like a vegan fast food restaurant and they have some locations all over town. And this mac and cheese is super delicious. I think it's just like a side, you get like a small portion of it when you go there, but they sent this massive tray and it's mostly gluten-free. They add uh, breadcrumbs on top of it usually, um, which won't, which makes it non-gluten-free. So when you go in there, you can ask for the gluten-free version of it if you are. I love Veggie Grill too. What else do we have here? Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm so excited about all this stuff. Then we have Miyoko's Kitchen. The lighting wasn't super great, so this video does not do it justice at all. But we put together this platter of cheeses, which again, when you go on their website, you'll see how beautiful they are. It's just the super dark in the video, but they make like 12 different flavors of incredible vegan cheeses. I think their ingredients are, are all organic. They have all these different flavors. Some of them are similar to brie. I mean, Miyoko's is like incredible master of vegan cheese. And you can buy her cheese online if you can't find it in stores nearby, but they're becoming pretty widely available. She also makes butter, which is now in Trader Joe's in, in many parts of the U.S. So definitely look into Miyoko's cheese. This is a cheese that has helped a lot of people go vegan or stay vegan, which I think is so wonderful. Um, let's see it. There were a ton of people at this party over time, and there was this long line of them just waiting for the food. So you kind of get a feel for 
for what that was like. You can see uh, Matt from Thug Kitchen over there, uh, our friend Jill, who's el- who else is here. Um, there's Nicole Dursway, and I think that's Ronnie. Is that Ronnie? Oh, no, that's Len standing next to her. Len from Longevity Warehouse, Tamara from Wellingness. I mean, the people there are just amazing. Taylor, who makes incredible um, like perfumes and essential oils and all this great work. Um, Alex, who is an amazing vegan DJ and fitness instructor. Allison from the Food Heals podcast. Right here is in the middle is Michelle from Thug Kitchen. And... Um, Hannah, who works with Test Masters, I think is right there. Oh, and right here with his back to you is Ro from Brush with Bamboo. So you can see the the man that makes the toothbrushes is right there. <laughs> oh, so much love. Okay, and now I'm going to try to find some some more exciting footage for you guys. But I'll look at the comments. Oh my gosh, there's so much to share. Let me know. Do you still want to see more? I don't know if this is getting getting a little boring, but I could just go on and on. I, I, I've thought about like editing all this footage together into a, a much like quicker, fun video. But uh, if you want to see more, let me know in a comment. And um, Liz, thank you for all the sweet words. And Leo, who's here. And um, yes, Avocado and Soul also loves Miyoko's. Lots of, lots of good Miyoko's fans here. Let me know if you want to see, oh, show the cake. Oh my gosh. Great suggestion, Valerie, because the cake was easily one of the highlights of the party. Thank you for asking that. So let me find a good shot of the cake. But actually first I'm going to show you this quick, this clip from Shojin. So Yvonne from Yvonne's Vegan Kitchen went and picked up the food from Shojin and they sent, let me switch my screen around here. They sent all of this delicious food. Shojin is one of my favorite restaurants and Jason's favorite restaurants in Los Angeles. And it's a little hard to tell because it's all packaged up in here, but they make the most incredible vegan sushi. And they are also the people that made the cake. They have another company called Pomegranate and they make amazing gluten-free vegan desserts. So let me show you. The cake was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. So let me find a a good clip of that. Oh my gosh. I just want to show you guys everything. Okay. Here's the cake. Here's a good video reveal of the, of the cake. So Jason had no idea what the cake was going to look like and neither did I. Pomegranate makes this incredible green tea, like matcha green tea cake. One of the best cakes I've ever had. So again, when you're in Los Angeles, go to Pomegranate or Shojin and get this green tea cake. It's mind blowing. And they use it as the base, but then they put the most incredible decorations on this. Um, Francie, I love how you keep asking about my dog, Evie. She That's one of her favorite spots to sleep. So she's often back there hiding behind my pillows because it's comfortable. Okay. So onto the cake. <laughs> Hopefully this video does it justice because it's something that would have blown your mind if you had been there in person. So here's the the pomegranate box and this is the cake that they made. So if you know Jason at all, you will know that he loves cats. So actually I'm going to stop scrolling. I'll just play it. So he has four cats now. They're all rescues. And um, on the, Bottom right corner is his newest rescue, Julius, who's like a couple months old now, maybe not, maybe only like two and a half or something. And up here is his cat, Figaro. Lynx is on the top left, and then Claudia is on the bottom left. And Pomegranate found pictures of these cats on Jason's Instagram feeds and then designed these cookies that they put on top of the cake. Again, in, co- in completely vegan, gluten-free cake. It was unbelievable. It was, this is on top. I don't know if we have pictures of the slices, but underneath all of this is this beautiful, bright green cake. They put berries on. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, except last year they made a cake for Jason with his face on it, which was <laughs> amazing. But when we opened the box and saw the pictures of his cats, our minds were blown. In fact, I'll show you the moment. 
was captured on screen when Jason uh, opened up opened up the box. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Again, I have like 70 video clips from the party. I wish I could easily show them to you all, but let's see. I know there's footage of him opening up the cake and you can see the like look of shock on his face. <laughs> One of the things that makes Jason such an enjoyable human being is his enthusiasm. And uh, <laughs> when he opened up this box, <laughs> it was very satisfying. So let's see if I can find that. Come on. I know someone got it. So much footage. Okay, here it is, found it. Thanks to Koya Webb, she captured this moment on camera. Jason, are you still watching? <laughs> Jason was watching on YouTube, but I think he switched over to, to watch on Facebook. So here it is. One of the best moments of the night was when he, he saw the cake for the first time. <laughs> he was like in a complete state of shock. <laughs> oh my gosh like look at that look like he just didn't even know what to do with himself so if you're joining on the later side talking about jason robel's surprise party that i planned last night and that's his friend ellie standing next to him by the way which is another one of his ex-girlfriends <laughs> and ellie makes incredible jewelry and she's vegan Almost everybody at his party was vegan, so that was really cool. But all the food was was donated. So Pomegranate donated this incredible cake. Shojin donated food. Olak, which is another favorite, my one of my favorite places, donated shrimp uh, made from yam. Uh, Olak has been one of my favorite restaurants for a while because they're so creative and they make this yam shrimp. If you guys want to see it, I have footage of that too, and uh, it's unbelievably good. It's one of my favorite things in the whole city of LA. We also had food from Kitchen Mouse and Organics. Like all of these companies donated this food. So Jason shows up to this party, is surprised to see all of his friends there. He expected to be going to a meditation class and we did a, like a fake meditation class. And then we just hung out, listened to music and ate all this incredible food that these companies donated. And Jason was just like, so overwhelmed he didn't even know how to react at times and it was just like one of the most wonderful things to witness and uh you know i spent the past two weeks working on this and it was a lot of work but it was a big payoff and uh i just want to share that with you so let me make sure that i've answered all your questions and uh, if you guys have any other any other questions before we wrap this up? Any questions about planning a surprise party or questions about products or jason i can't even believe i've been talking for 45 minutes straight. So thank you guys for being here today, especially to Su Jason's mom, Susan. And uh, yes, yeah, Susan, I wish you could have been there to eat that cake because it's so good. But when you come into town, we'll, we're taking you to pomegranate. And uh, let's see here. Thank you, Francie, for being here. And Amber, musty fan for being here. Uh, Leo, yes, isn't that cool that Jason's friends with, I wouldn't say he's friends with all of his previous girlfriends, but he's friends with the last three and myself included. And uh, I agree. It's, it's inspiring. It, it, you know, Leo just said it's inspiring with haters hating and whatnot. And I think that's so true is, you know, Jason is inspiring on a lot of levels. He, there's a reason that he's one of my best friends. He's one of the most generous people that I've ever met. He's an incredible person. If you guys don't know him yet, check him out. I'll, I'll link to him. Uh, he's on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. And uh, he has just accomplished so much, but his heart and the way that he gives to people is just unbelievable and so inspiring. And his relationships with people are amazing. I mean, I've never been so close to someone that I've dated, except maybe for Robert Cheek. Robert, Robert and I dated years ago for like a few months. I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but Robert Cheek's a, a vegan fitness guy known for bodybuilding. And Robert and I have been friends ever since, which is amazing. Um, but you know, I talk to Robert like every once in a while and we don't see each other very much. I see Jason almost every single day. He lives right down the street from me and we support each other through so many things. And we're able to do that as friends, truly. People are always 
confused by our relationship, but it's, it's purely friendship and it comes from a deep place of love. And he's one of the most special people I've ever met. So I say that to clarify things for people that are curious, but also as an inspiration is that knowing that you can have those relationships with people that you don't have to have bitterness or resentment, or you don't have to have weird situations with people. Like we can choose to have great relationships with others. We can choose to come from a place of love. We can choose to support one another. We can move past fear and hate and all these things that get in our way. I was talking about my new platform, Eco Vegan Pal, earlier, and that's a big inspiration for it. Uh, Eco Vegan Pal is this new online community, and it's really been designed for people to have a safe place to connect with, with each other, to meet each other, to get to know each other from a place of love and understanding versus a place of hate or competition or jealousy, all of these things that can get in our way of, of creating meaningful connections with other people. And um, I hope that Jason inspires you to do that, that I inspire you, that my relationship with Jason inspires that, that all these incredible people that came to this party and donated their time, their products, their, their love, people even donated to this gift that we gave to Jason. It was just like last night showed both me and Jason. I kind of wish he was here to talk about it himself. But if you go to his Instagram, he's talking about it all day on his Instagram stories. Jason pointed out that the party last night reminded him how generous people can be, how much love there is in this world, how much just positivity and, and potential there is. Sometimes we can lose sight of that. We can forget how much people support us, how much people care for us, how much people love us. We can lose sight of how how just yeah how much connection there is in this world we can easily get swayed by the media and things that are happening in the news and and come from a place of fear and feel like people are bad i can do that too i mean we all kind of do that as as far as i'm aware my my experience is that i get jealous and i get competitive and i get judgmental too in fact to be completely honest doing this party brought up a lot of different emotions for me and and i found myself getting judgmental at times or getting reactive to people at times. And what I realized through doing this party was that I have to have compassion for other people and hope that they have compassion for me too. And it's not always easy. Yesterday was, a, a there was a lot going on. It was a bit stressful, but it was for a good cause. And I found myself at times feeling a little off and I had to push through that because that party was not about me. That party was about Jason and everybody else there. And sometimes when we, we have the opportunity to be generous for other people, sometimes when we have the opportunity to show love, generosity to others, that's where our best selves come out. And that brings out our best selves and it brings out the best selves of other people. So that's my little motivational message for you. Um, if this ever appeals to you, I, I also want to let you know that I, I am on many different places of the web beyond Facebook and YouTube. Um, I have the Eco Vegan Pal community, which again is that private community. You can learn more at ecoveganpal.com. It will be linked in the description of both live videos. And I also have another YouTube channel that I don't talk about very much. But if this last part of the video inspires you and you want to hear more about my perspective on life and love and all of these different ways that we can develop ourselves as people, you can check out my uncensored channel. It's uh, I think the U URL is youtube.com slash eco vegan gal uncensor without the ED. But if you just type in eco vegan gal uncensored, that's my other channel where I talk a lot about the stuff. And I'm on Instagram and Snapchat, Twitter, all of those places. I really, my, my love is to connect with you guys. And I feel like that's such a great note to end on. Jason loves that too. Jason does a lot of live videos. So check him out. Stay in touch with me. You can find me all over the web under eco vegan gal. I love connecting with each and every one of you. And I want to make sure that I have received uh, all of the questions here. Valerie, I'm so grateful to have you here. Susan, I'm sorry that I made you hungry, but I'm so excited that you are here. Francie said, we are always wrong when we judge. It's nice to know it's not our job to judge. Yeah, it's hard not to judge sometimes though, isn't it? Like, I feel like we're trained to judge or we have, we come from a place of fear and that can lead to judgment. And so 
what the one of the best things that you can do is recognize when you're judging and stop yourself and then understand why you're doing it. And that can really shift a lot of things internally and externally. Uh, Perry, thank you so much for being here too. Liz, thanks for being here. One wish that I wish my family would watch this. We'll share this with them. I know this is a long video, but if this is, inspires you, share it with your friends and family, even if they don't know me, maybe there's something in here, whether they wanna learn more about vegan products, organic living, um, personal development, consciousness, compassion, all of that. Uh, I would love, I'd be honored for you guys to share it and, or any of the other content that I do, because I, I hope that that helps shift your life and other people's lives as well, because we're all in this together. And uh, Leo, yes, uh, keep, uh, he said being above the rest, you know, I don't always like to use the word above because it kind of brings up these ideas of com comparison, better or worse. Like, if really my hope is that we can all get on the same page and be on the same level together and come from a place of love. So that's that's really my aim. And it's kind of about, you know, helping everybody get to that place. And um, yes, Avocado and Soul, thanks for, for all of that. And uh, Musty Fan said, do you have suggestions for vegan booze? Yes, uh, there's a great resource called Barnivore. I'll link to that as well for all of you watching. I was like, I think that's what it's called. It's It's been around for so long. I've been using it for so long that I had to like check myself, but I'm pretty sure it's barnivore.com. I believe they have an app and they list out all of the major brands of alcohol and tell you if it's vegan or not. My Some of my favorite brands are, I don't drink a ton of alcohol or buy a ton, but I will say Bailey's came out with a, vegan version of their Irish cream with almond milk, which was cool. Not the healthiest option, but a nice alternative. Um, there's w great wines. Uh, organic wine that I love is Bonterra. It's very reasonably priced. You can find it sometimes in Trader Joe's. You can often find it at Whole Foods, BevMo, a lot of places. I love Bonterra. It tastes good. It's like $10 a bottle. It's all organic and vegan. It's wonderful. Uh, Frey Vineyards makes or, or organic vegan wine. There's a dedicated vegan vineyard, a few of them, but the first off the top of my head is the Vegan Vine. So th there's a number of really great vegan wines out there that taste good and are, you know, cruelty free. And then beer is out there. There's a, a shocking number of vegan beers, but not all beers are vegan. Uh, one off the top of my head is the people, I know what it looks like in my head right now. Uh, Fat Tire, New Belgium, New Belgium Brewing. They, I believe everything they make is vegan. You'll just double check because, again, I don't drink it very often, but they do have a gluten-free beer now that's really good. And, yeah, it, you know, it's like using a resource like Barnivore because there's so many alcohol options out there. A lot of the organic brands are also vegan, but just cross-reference it. And uh, there's a ton of like great organic hard liquors too, like vodkas. Uh, there's a company called Vive, V-E-E-V. -E -E I'll link to all of this eventually. I'm going to have to go through this hour-long video and make sure I link to everything I talk about. But uh, I'll, I'll create a, like a resource page that you guys can go and check out with links to everything here. Probably won't be tonight because, frankly, I'm exhausted and I have another event to go to in like an hour. So if you want to stay up to date of everything that's happened with me, Jason will be there tonight, a number of our friends. So if you go on my Instagram story, you'll have links to all the people I hang out with. If you want to get to know other amazing people, we're going to a pop-up restaurant in Silver Lake tonight. So check out the story to find out some of the latest and greatest food finds. And I think I'm going to wrap this up. Perry, thanks again. Pixie said, I buy vegan alcohol with my fruit and veg boxes. Oh, cool. So does that mean like you have a delivery service that has uh, alcohol as an option? I think that might be what you mean. Yes. Uh, so Bonterra makes uh, white wine and red, I believe. Yes. John Sally's wine is called the Vegan Vine. And Bailey's is very exciting. So yeah, so many options. Thank you all for being here. So on Facebook, all of your comments are going to live there under this video. So if you have additional comments to add or responses to anybody, you can do that right there on Facebook. On YouTube, sadly, all the live conversations disappear. So if you want to continue the conversation, do it in the YouTube comments once this video is living live on my channel. So I'm going to wrap this up and uh, head out for the night.
maybe rest a little before I go out. I might need to take some of this energy drink before I go, frankly. And some of, I'm probably going to eat one of these bars. Maybe I'll just like eat all of this, all these snacks. But I will keep you posted on the giveaway if you've been waiting for that. So stay tuned. Maybe next week I will announce a, a, video, a giveaway. So stay tuned on Facebook and YouTube. I'll alert both of you guys, both audiences about what's happening. So I'd love for one of you to take home some of these amazing pro products from the party. Thank you for watching, being active. Again, stay tuned on Instagram, watch the stories, the live videos on Eco Vegan Gal and uh, Twitter. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on so many different places. So if you look for Eco Vegan Gal, you can find me, you can private message me, we can stay in touch. I love connecting with all of you. If you enjoyed these videos, please share them, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, wherever, so that you can stay in touch and know when more videos happen. And uh, I'm always here to support you guys. So send me a, a question, a message, whatever I can do. And uh, I'd also love to see you in Eco Vegan Pal. If you want to meet new people, go check out ecoveganpal.com. All right, I'm wrapping up. Bye, Liz. Bye, Avocado and Soul, Pixie Low, Leo, and um, Perry, Valerie, Susan, all of you wonderful, wonderful human beings. I hope you have a great rest of your Friday, great weekend. And go send, give Jason some love over on his uh, Facebook and YouTube channel. He would much appreciate that. All right, everyone. See you next time.